What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, I left us off in a rather precarious situation. In fact, we had been going down these stairs when I realized that uh, one of the monsters was, well, on these stairs with us. And now we can see is wandering around down there. I had left the stairwell before exploring the other two doorways, which now I regret. So the question is... Which one did we go through? I think we initially went through that one on the left. So I'd like to test out these other ones if I can. Hopefully we have a minute to do so. Come on. Don't. Okay. Alright, so we've made it through here. What are we going to find in here is part of the question. Can I close this door in the meantime? Hopefully, I didn't trap myself in here with one of them. Oh my god! What happened to you? Oh my goodness. The monster can come in here. The monster can open doors. What? I don't know what its cycle is going to be through here, but... This spot here is the best we have right now. Don't see me. Don't see me. Wow. Look at that design. It's so simplistic, but at the same time, it's so creepy and unsettling. It looks like all this, like, wow stuff, like, took over it, you know? Keep walking. Okay. And then, so the question is, what are we going to find in here? And we are on low health, which is obviously not very good. Is there anything of interest in here? No? Really no? It's kind of surprising. Can I do anything with this? No? Alright, so the next question is, how long do we have before he comes back over here? Right? It sounds like we might have a minute. Is there anything over in this hallway? Just some lovely sound effects, my favorite. Okay. At the very least, I now feel like more okay continuing on exploring the rest of the area. Having checked that out. Oh! It totally saw or heard us. Interesting, how just climbing up that little ledge was enough to attract its attention so greatly. Alright, then we will calmly walk up the stairs. Or maybe it just periodically speeds up out of nowhere. I don't really know, but... Either way, we're not out of the fire yet. Because I remember the last time we came up here, I think we saw that there was going to be another one of them up here. Man, this, this blurriness... It definitely makes things more complicated and difficult. So I don't know where the monster thing is up here. It's up here somewhere. And we needed to turn on those computers. Um, or we needed to reset the router. Oh, saving. Okay, uh, that works. Interesting. So it's sounding more distant. So maybe we are more in the clear than I thought we were. But it's so quiet, guys. It's so quiet. Oh, I can't do another like data buffer thing there. I feel like that actually heals me. All right. So because it's all dark and everything, we'll we'll go a little bit more quietly here. But yeah, we needed to reset the router so that we could connect those couple of computers we found. I believe in this direction. I believe we found a couple of those computers over here. I don't remember exactly where. Okay, I remember this useless room. And I remember that door being locked before. So I think this is where we're going to find one of those computers. To be determined, though. 
Those were the bathrooms. Nothing down that hallway. There were the personal rooms. There was the stairwell. We didn't find anything there. Was there anything in here? I think it was maybe in Catherine's room that we found something. Is that the case? I really wish this uh, this blurriness would heal after a while. Can we interact with this now? No? Okay. Maybe it was exclusively down the other hallway. Hmm. This one, nope. That's Robin's room, I think. This is, what was his name, Martin? All right. Peter Strasky. Interesting. How do we get to those rooms? Those are some names I recognize for sure. Okay. So if it wasn't there, was it down this hallway? Yes. Okay. This, these are the ones I remember that had the, the computers for the scanning stations and all that jazz. Okay. Data buffer available. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab. The scan room. What happened? Comrade killed Oh, himself. didn't we actually already yeah. hear this? Jesus, how? Um, I think so. What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. I'm so close. Stormwire's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body. Yeah, we definitely heard this before. But. I know. I guess that we at least now get to test the hypothesis that these data buffers heal us. Not even close. Hopefully they do. Nope, still, still kind of blurry, right? Or, or is it better now? No, I still think it's a bit distorted. Anyways, this we can now access. Local 34% free scans. So image and read. Um, not surprising. Guy Conrad. Okay, that's the person we just heard about. And then test environments. There's the float tank. Network transfer. Huh, water-filled steel tank. Transfer denied. Okay, what about the scan room? With pilot seat. Better continuation. Not necessary for ARC. That's actually really funny. So when somebody scan wakes up, they're in the, the pilot seat, right? What about the beach? Agreeable exterior test applied to ARC. Okay, so we can't transfer any of these. Versailles. Data reconstructed by WoW. Do not use. Huh. Agreeable interior test. Excellent. Now, the copy to none. I was going to say, we have to hook something up in order to copy it to it, but the question is, what do we hook up and where? And is that something... What was that? But yeah, the question is, what do we hook up and where? I guess maybe it's not this one? Because there was another room with another computer. Go ahead. Plug in that chip you found. This is the scan log. Okay. Anything of interest? Arc project on hold. Stromer investigates the death of Sarang. Whole bunch of people. Stromer reprimanded me. One more death and we're out. And Guy Conrad is the last one. Arc project on hold indefinitely. Oh, that's, that's a bummer. So over the course of a month, there was a number of suicides, or over the course of a couple months, there was a number of suicides that eventually Catherine, it seems, was blamed for. Scheduled scans. Jane Adams was one of them. Why does she sound familiar? And then Strohmeyer himself was supposed to get scanned. Do we plug in over here? Scan projector active, insert a chip containing scan data. Okay, uh, where are we going to do that? Over here? Yes. Alright. No, no fancy schmancy uh, booting screen or anything like that. 
There should be a list of people. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. A security cipher? Um, oh, that's right. That's the whole point of what we're doing all this for. So, Sarah Lindwall Greenland, said she'd help out delivering the Ark. Mark Saring killed himself because of continuity. Strohmeyer is really mad. Has Titan security. Ark project on hold. Brandon Wan, Delta Refugee, Construct Wrangler. He's working for Strohmeyer now. Robin Bass. Or Bass, an, another continuity suicide. Strohmeyer locked me out of my lab again. Komarebi, we look so much alike in a different life, I'm sure we'd be best friends. She helped me cut the, the wave leak from the helmet. If anything, it should make the post scan hangover less severe. And then Peter Strasky. Strasky was cheerful and funny as always. Alice Coster said she'd help construct the arc, but not carry it to Phi. So I think Strasky might be the person to know the security cipher. But honestly, I'm not 100% sure. No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Oh, you need somebody from Theta's security group. Gotcha. Who was that again? Was that Robin? Hmm. I mean... I don't remember. Was it Heather? For what it's worth, it doesn't seem like we're punished heavily for guessing. That one won't work either. Look for security people like Kronstadt or Strohmeyer. I mean, neither of them is here, right? Right? So security people, um... I mean, I don't, I don't remember. I guess this person is working for Strohmeyer? But aren't, aren't they all kind of working for Strohmeyer? I don't know. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. All right. Going. Sounds good. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're going to have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. Environment none, module none. So we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to run it. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Whoa. Take it easy, Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened to I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. There's no need to worry. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Mr. Wan, I need you to stay calm. No, 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 no. Well, why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Yikes. Away. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. Yeah, so we obviously saw on the other computer that there are those various environments um, that we can try to upload. So let's head on over here and see if we can do something with this again. Maybe because now the other computer is on or something, we can do that, but... Better continuation, not necessary for ARC, agreeable exterior test applied to ARC. Let's go with the beach for now. Um, no external device connected. Is there somewhere that I can add an external device? Because that, that seems like that's what I'm supposed to do. What do I have in my inventory? Nothing currently. Maybe I have to grab the like chip or disc or whatever it is from over here. Can I plug it in over here? Please? It still says copy to none. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Not that. Nope, not that. Is this blur effect ever going to go away? <laughs> it would be kind of nice if I could get back to enjoying the game in all of its uh, usual graphical detail. Now it looks like this is the only thing I can really interact with. Not the keyboard, not this over here. So 
So I guess the other question is, hmm, is there somebody else that works, or is it really only Brandon that's supposed to work? I guess I could try uploading to other people. Simulation assets. What is it? What is this? This looks like the external storage device I can use for that thing on the desk. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, what's on the chip? Environments, the beach, and the ski lodge. Alright, um... I mean... Alright, yeah, so we can do that, and then I guess we can copy Versailles as well. Transfer denied corrupt data. Okay, yeah, so we'll just we'll just leave it at the, the beach then. So now that we have this, the question is how can we use that to change what's going on here? Because I still can't change the environment here. Is there something... Oh, there is a different slot for me to load stuff. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, let's try the beach and give it a go. Darn it. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real. This isn't real. I have to get out of here. So that obviously didn't work. Do we need to turn it off. Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. Interesting. Two different approaches to the idea of, you know, his suffering here. Now, the other question is, what about these support modules? I get the impression we need to find a different computer where we can access the support modules, because I didn't see those on that other computer. We can go take a look, obviously. There are these scans, and then there are the test environments. Hmm. There's the ski lodge, but... Water-filled steel tank. Sensory limiter. I mean, we can, we can try all of these. Or, or not, I guess. I guess we could potentially try these other people, too, right? Reed or Conrad? Oh, no, we can't scan those. Alright, well, it doesn't look like the support modules are on this computer. But I don't recall another computer that we could have accessed that would have those. I could always, obviously, take another look around. Doesn't seem like we can go through there. And this is just the schedule and the scan log. But I don't think it has any of the actual support modules on it. So I mean, we can we can try a couple different things here and give it a go, just in case we don't actually need the support modules. That wasn't so bad. This room might really got me worked up, bastard. What? What is this? Where am I? Everything is okay, Mr. Wan. Just relax. Dr. Chun? What the hell is this place? I don't have time to explain. I need you to give me the new security cipher. Why are you doing this? Is this some trick? I'm not giving you anything. I'm trying to save a lot of people. No, you're lying. This is all a lie. Look at this place. It's a fucking joke. Get me out of here, Chun, or I'll punch your teeth in! Yikes. 
think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. Yeah, so it seems like the, the scan room might be the best thing. It mentioned in the notes continuity, but... That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up. Bastard. What? Where did it... Alice? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Chun? Where's Alice? She's fine. We don't have much time, Mr. Wan. I need the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. Please, this is important. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! Great. How many times are we going to have to do this? Come on, Simon. Don't give up now. We need a support module, but where are they? So it's pretty clear the scan room environment is the way to go. But where are we going to find... I don't know. I mean, I guess all we can do is head back out and see if there's another room that has it. Although I don't remember that ever really being the case. I don't think it was any of these rooms. Yeah, we just took a look at those. I guess we can check some of the other stairwells. I can hear those guys from the stairwell, I think. Game having a little bit of difficulty with some of the textures in here. I wish I knew Brandon better. I think Brandon Wan is a good lead, but we need to find out more about him. See if you can't get to know him a little. Have a look in his room, go through his stuff. I can do that. Oh, that's actually a pretty good guess. Or pretty good approach that I did not think of myself. Oh, here's Catherine. Lovely. Is this a computer we can hook up stuff to? Site status, map, staff. Okay, so we could have learned more about the staff here, but um, I guess we have to look in Brandon's room. I wonder, we've probably already looked in it, if it was open before. So the question is, did they make it available now that we know who he is? Slash need to know more about who he is. Off we go. But yeah, the thing is, if we could have accessed his room, I'm almost certain we did. So where is Brandon? Where is Brandon? Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the Perfect. Room I wish they were either more upfront about it or, or something about needing we to come to here. Him. Maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. All right, we've got a data buffer. For Strasky, and I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs, and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. That is interesting. Fairchild Award for Achievements of the Engineering Youth. Oh, I've, I've been here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's like a log of some sort at the end that shows you all the documents you've looked at, all like the pictures and all this stuff. If so, that would actually be really neat. You know, I, I'd feel like I'd have a better idea of who Brandon was if I could see his room clearly. <laughs> Let's move the chair out of the way. Some pictures of family. Cute. What is this? More pictures of family, possibly. An origami crane. What else we got in here? A note. Brandon, I'm really a mess thinking about the scan. Everyone is being so brave. All smiles, no regrets. You know how you said you would hold my hand during the scan? If the offer still hand or if the offer still stands, I greatly accept. If we do it together, we could suffer the hangover together as well. They say it takes a couple of days to recover. 
kisses Alice. Oh! There's a note from Alice that makes me think she was scanned alongside Brandon. Okay, that sounds really promising. We can definitely use that. So August 14th. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate Oof, her for the, the ethical implications. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about <laughs> this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could date a mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating <laughs> I love Simon's sense of humor. Anyways, August 14th. Akers finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Cryer, and I moved into Theta today. Akers said he'd stick around for a while longer. That crazy guy. I take pride in my work, but darn, that place is miserable since the surface stopped sending parts. August 25th, did my arc scan together with Alice? Found more evidence suggesting they were together during the scan. That's okay, Sherlock. We got it already. We should focus on simulating... Brandon hey, hey, I'm trying to world build here, Catherine. <laughs> Strohmeyer told me that the hangover would basically kill me. Such a jerk. I was fine at first, but got a splitting headache a couple of hours later. The biggest pain was that Chun girl. She's so uncomfortable at all times, it makes my skin crawl. Yikes. Strohmeyer went ballistic and shut down all future scans for the ARC project. Apparently, Conrad wanted in on the continuity and just fried himself right in the pilot seat after the scan. Something tells me we'll be getting new security ciphers. January 15th. So, a couple months later. Just heard that the Komorebi survey is coming to Delta and pick up Acres. He's been alone for months now. Can't imagine what he's been up to. And, of course, there's nothing after that. Alright. So, now that we know a little bit more about Brandon, can ethically... Well, rather unethically, imitate his significant other's voice, use that to comfort him and lull him into a false sense of security as he gives us the new security cipher. We are all good to go. Oh, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to come back here. There's an, the computer rooms are still over this way, aren't they? Man, those noises, those noises those monster make, monsters make are like, like choking noise, right? They're so uncomfortable. Okay. Let's try this again. Nope, other computer. Alice module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. I, th I think this little portion of the game would have benefited from earlier intervention by Catherine indicating we should go to Brandon's room. Because I think the idea of loading the, or like transferring the data to the external storage from the other computer makes me think, oh, we're missing a module, we need to find another computer, right? Or is there another computer? Rather than, oh, I need to go to Brandon's room. But... Not a huge deal, obviously, just a, a quick little poke. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Stromar. He said he needed a new cipher ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I could talk to him. Wait! Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not gonna Oof. tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay. It's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. DeWan. Brandon. Goodbye. No, wait. That's enough. Oof. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. What to do with the data? What do you mean? You mean like the security cipher or what? Oh, so we have the option to shut down or erase data? I don't know. I guess we'll shut down. I don't know if that's the, like, decision Catherine was referencing with what to do with the data. But either way, we have the security cipher now, right? 
So we should be able to operate the Dunbat, which is the whole point of coming here, right? Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. Where was Catherine again? We ran into her back at the main area. I imagine there's going to be some interference along the way. She is in which room? I think it was this room we jumped into over here. Yeah, the <laughs> game does not like the textures in this area. This is where Catherine was. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. Spent collecting dust for months, so it might need Fair a point. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Okay. The question is... Which door is going to take me into the... Area? I think it's that one, right? Like this big main... Area? Oh, that's right. That was the whole point. We tried to open this with the Omnitool before, and it wouldn't work, right? But now we should be able to. Sweet. Now that we're practically here at the Dunbat, what could possibly go wrong? Whole bunch of buttons to press, knobs to turn. Is there anything relevant for this? There's got to be some sort of relevance. It's unplugged. Can I plug it in? Is that where it gets plugged in? Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's hit the power button. I was going to say, that door closing does not have me reassured. Okay. So I don't know if... What? What? What just happened? Was that intentional? Is that what's supposed to happen? Ah, shoot. I don't know if that was the Dunbat or not. Clearly, that machine had a person in it. Well, this is not good. How are we going to get into the Dunbat? Are we alone? Probably not. There's a critical failure? Now it seems like the power's out. Can I use the Omni tool? Catherine has no idea that all this is going on either, so we are really, literally and figuratively in the dark here. So I guess we can come around up to this way. Uh, can I, can I move this? I can, while I'm on it. How lovely. So this is an exit. Ooh, can I use this ladder over there, though? Nah, I mean, clear, or maybe, but clearly this is where I'm supposed to go. Of course things couldn't proceed smoothly. Because of course. You guys hear that? can hear the choking sounds. Ooh, which way do we go, left or right? Probably doesn't matter. This one is locked. Can we open it though? No, we can't. Okay, so it does matter. <laughs> I love that brief stand for a moment before we continue crawling. Plan B. All right. So I guess before, were we trying to raise the Dunbat up to us so that we could get in and load it? And if so, that failed, so now we are going down to it. I think that's what's going on here. Oh! We can see down there. 
what are we going to find? Probably got a couple friends in this hallway. I feel like the classic horror game move, though, is where all of a sudden, like, one of the vents is just going to, like, break and we're going to fall down and there's going to be a monster or one of the monsters is going to, like, reach up and grab us or something. There's a fan. Where, like, all of a sudden the ventilation shaft is going to fall right before the door, you know, that sort of thing. But so far, so good. Hopefully I didn't jinx it. All right, before we drop in here, let's take a quick little glance. Scan the room real quick, and it looks like we're okay. Now, real question, does this heal me? It does. So that's the function of those things. Now we know. And it's good to know. They're one-time uses, it seems. So we have this sort of table here. We can use the Omni tool here. Probably you want to plug Catherine in here and get an update from her. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's got to be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while <laughs> in the Abyss. That does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. Interesting. So I wonder if the end point of this game is... You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Maybe the end point of this game is finding the arc so that we can get on it and live happily ever after, I guess? And in the meantime, we're seeing how mankind has essentially fallen and how WoW has taken all these scans and uploaded what seem to be people and there are potentially multiple copies of people and multiple machines all over the world, etc. How, how dystopian. But also, that's a really good point by Simon. How does Catherine not know how to get on the Ark? The person who developed the Ark, who scanned herself in, arguably, or supposedly with a plan to upload everybody onto the Ark, doesn't actually know how to get on the Ark? That's kind of concerning, right? But anyways, we have this computer here where we can take a look at some documents, the arc locator. I think we've actually seen this exact computer set up before. So maybe there'll be, because we've filled out that survey, didn't we? But maybe there'll be different documents we can access. There's a map over here and then there's this table. So we've got a lot we can explore, but of course we're gonna be doing that in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was an awfully blurry episode, but uh, we managed to figure out quite a bit and, of course, tread some eth ethical, unethical, unethical water <laughs> while deceiving Brandon using Alice. Um, and, of course, the plan with the Dunbat didn't go as we would have liked. But we'll figure it out, uh, plan B, in the next episode. But until that next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>